concerned about the so-called Hebrew Israelite leaders because they're not leaders at all. Uh, these people are no different than the Ku Klux Klan. They're no different than any other racist organization on the earth. It's just that they're black and they're using the Bible as a tool in order to promote hatred and in order to promote dissension and in order to promote, look at this, and I said it once, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again over and over again. Listen very closely. In order to promote some type of racial discrimination based on pains of the past, the way that they repackage and rehash history to you. We all know that the history books are skewed and they're lied. They're, I mean, they're full of lies. We all know that, right? But we use the Bible, or many of us do. And, you know, the Bible teaches us there is a certain way that if you believe yourself to be an Israelite, if you believe yourself to be a Hebrew, the Bible teaches there's a certain way that we ought to um, treat the stranger that wants to come and join themselves to us. But these racist pigs out here, they haven't, they don't want nobody joining to them. And their doctrine is so flawed and so screwed up that the only thing they can resort to is name calling, uh, using disparaging comments because they don't, they do an F. They don't have the vocabulary. Uh, they do not know science, geography. Um, and they just simply have a speech impediment when it comes to truth. And, you know, it's, it's easy to debunk all these lies just because somebody puts mental assent with something or they make uh, some type of mental association and they choose to agree and they say this is the doctrine this is the truth and they usually do it on unsuspecting minds and stuff because as soon as somebody comes along telling the truth what's the first thing they start doing showing you how unintelligent they are by